Welcome to Siva 718. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can always be updated anytime we release a video. Guys, in this video, what we're going to do here is we're going to simplify a way for you to get the images, to get your logos vectorized. Now, a lot of times you may get a client that gives you an image and it looks all blurry when you zoom in and you may not be the best individual when it comes to utilizing Adobe Illustrator or even Photoshop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some easy ways where you can take the image for minimum cost and vectorize it meaning that the image will be clear and definitely efficient enough for you to put in the transfer and get the pressing on a garment okay guys stay tuned i'm going to talk a little bit more right after this okay guys let's jump right into it so now imagine that you have a client who gives you an image that looks like this now there's nothing really we can do with this image as is so what we need to do is recreate this image so there's a few ways that we can do this i'm going to go through two ways um the first way definitely will be to pay a graphic artist to do this over for you the second way is to you can utilize your cutting software when it comes to your vinyl cutting software. Um, for an example, I have vinyl master software. I can use that to vectorize this. And from there, I can create my own vector. Now uh, with this one, it will be easier to do because this is not too complicated. So you can use your vinyl cutting software. If you guys want more details on how to do that, now remember, everyone has different types of um, vinyl cutting software. I use Vinyl Master, so if you want um, a tutorial on how to do that, let me know down in the comments below. Um, now, as these images get more complex, you may want to use something else, which I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Now, with that said, if you have a t-shirt business, there are different ways that you can generate revenue. One of the ways is the artwork. So the artwork is the most important part of actually printing on a shirt. So if the artwork isn't up to par, the printing will not come out. So the artwork can be an extra fee that you can add on to your business. Also the t-shirts themselves. So if you have a t-shirt wholesale license and you're able to get these t-shirts wholesale, you can sell them for retail so that's the second option and then the third will be the actual printing of the t-shirt so let's get this artwork together so what we can do is now right now it's in Photoshop I can get rid of this background with a magic eraser and I'll just take your eraser erase it boom and it's still really not that good so I can just start to clean it up a little bit with my eraser tool. Once I do that, I have it where all the black comes out. I can add my own background to it just to see how it looks. Okay, and once I'm satisfied, I can save this as a um, as a PNG. So I'm gonna file, I'm gonna save this to my desktop as a PNG. And the next step will be to head over to this website. I'm going to show you that website right now. Okay, guys, this is the website. Now, there's a lot of graphic artists out there that will charge you about 50, 40, even 30. And you'll rarely find anyone who's going to charge you $20 to do something for you. Um, you can go to Fiverr. That's a really good website to go to if you're looking for an independent contractor who does graphic arts that is definitely a good place to go to but if you have something simple and you don't want to spend forty to fifty dollars on a simple image you can come to this website now your prices don't have to change when it comes to your client 
that's up to you you know you can adjust your prices if you want or you can just leave it the same but if you come to this website here take that image that the client gave you you can get rid of the black background if you want or you can just tell them to get rid of it for you now they have an area here called tools and they have an area under the tools called redraw now as you can see they give you an example here transform this this blurry image into this right they have videos here they have before and afters as you can see here they do a wonderful job wonderful this is a hit and jump for those who are into this particular business all you would do is choose your file put it into the system and when it comes to you to pay you can use PayPal or credit card and they won't charge you until you're satisfied until you approve the final print of the artwork okay so let me show you what they did for me now real quick look how much they charge it's fourteen dollars now remember what I said is very rare you will find anyone who will do this job for you for less than twenty they do it for fourteen dollars this is very cool let me show you what they did to that image okay so I got my final version I approved it and this is the image look at the clarity so now the way you can tell right just zoom in zoom in on your artwork okay as you can see the artwork is still good now if you can zoom in on your artwork and the pixelation doesn't go crazy your artwork is good okay guys that's a true vector um, you can throw this in Adobe you can throw this in Photoshop this image is crystal clear now with that said now that it's some um, transparent you can you know add backgrounds to it you can you know just play around with it see how it look on a shirt of the color that you choose and you know you could do a lot of different things here now I like to use Photoshop also to get an idea of how big I want the image so if you're using Photoshop um, change your width and your height into inches so you can determine how many inches you want for the width for example um, if you want to make this into an eight inch image and you keep the, the width and the height locked in, meaning that if you change the width, the height will change. So it will stay proportionate. But you can also take that option off so that you can, you know, mess around with it a little bit. And then once you have the inches that you want and the height that you want, you don't even have to waste money printing. If you have a personal printer, you can just print on a regular piece of paper you don't have to use your transfer paper if you have a DTF machine you don't have to print it out for your size use a regular printer just to see the sizing of this image that's a trick that you can use just a regular printer set the inches set the width set the height and you can print out just to see how it will look physically before you actually either print out your transfers or order your transfers depending on how you do your business okay guys that's it real quick real simple definitely a cool trick to have stay tuned okay that brings us to the end of the video i hope that trick works out for you you know it's something that is definitely cool to have especially if you don't want to pay a graphic artist or if you don't have the skill sets to recreate the image on your own now like i said you can also use your vinyl printing software as well as an option I have the Vinyl Master. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, but this has been very, very useful for me, especially when I get the clients that give me artwork that aren't up to par. So this is something that is definitely useful. If you can do me a favor, use that link that I provided. That link is an affiliate link. So every time you use that link, I get credit for it. I did not get paid, however, to do this video. This is not a sponsored video. This is just something that I use and I thought it would be very useful for you as well. With that said, thank you for watching. Take care and I hope you enjoy.